I peeled the back of our silhouette tree, peeled the back off, just be careful because they are very, very flimsy. And I've glued it down. I'm leaving the coating on top, which I will peel off when it's it's finished. I'm using Wow Bond glue. I've just decanted it into a smaller bottle. And I'm gonna fill it with these gorgeous little leaves, all different sizes. And I might mix in a few little blue leaves as well. Right, so we'll uh, get cracking. Okay, I'm just going to show you how I've cut the um, the dirt, <laughs> the dirt, the glass that represents the dirt background. So I basically just got a stained glass stick. These are 15 by uh, 150 mil. So I've just cut it down to small pieces. So I'm just slowly breaking bits off with my cutter, cutting in half. I'm not worried about getting perfect squeeze just some random sort of sizes. Um, always handy to have a container to cut into if you're working at home. Um, I won't be because I want to show you what I'm doing, <laughs> but definitely have a container handy. Um, so all I'm gonna do is cut off the four points. Okay, so I'm not worrying about it being too tight at this stage. Cutting the four points off. Because you want it to sort of look a bit raggy looking, not a perfect circle and you can do a little bit of tidying up if you want to they look quite nice if they've got a munched look makes it look more earthy <laughs> and the idea is to have all different sizes the same thing again just the four points not a perfect circle and you just sort of place them back together and lots of different sizes together so same thing again just want to get rid of those points. You see that's not perfect, but when you've got them all grouped together, they look really nice and effective. I've also had a, left a straight line down the bottom, so one side will be straight to start me off on the bottom. So that'll go down the bottom here, a couple of straight ones. This one I'm keeping a Straight edge, so that'll be the start of our dirt. And then a bit more rounded. So I like all these unusual shapes. Right, so that is basically how I have done the dirt. Um, as for the grass, I've used two colours. I've used Oscar and Peabody. So to get these little slivers, all I've done is just bitten down the side. So it's just a side bite. And that gives you some really nice long shards. So that is basically what we are getting. So nip all the way down. These are great for grass. You can use them to create feathers. Obviously, the longer you go down your glass, you get a longer piece. But at this stage, I want to just get some nice little tiny bits of grass. So very handy to cut into your container. <laughs> You're not trying to find them all over the floor. Another one. 
I'm just mixing the colours together. It's a little bit of start of our grass. A little pile. And then all I've done with the grass here, I've basically just gone and interlocked them all into each other. So you just poke them into little gaps, mixing the colours together. And just feeding them into the little gaps. Tweezers are actually really handy. So much easier when you've got your glue down. This is just to give you an idea of how I've done the grass. Just keep feeding into the little gaps of these little tiny bits we've got. Right, that's just to give us a rough idea. So that is the grass. Um, so this is to give me a close-up version of the glass, and then I've done little just random pieces, which is quite good to use up as scrap. So I've just gone and them into tiny pieces for the background um, having a different sort of size and shape to the front grass will give you the appearance of it looking um, further out into the distance so on a smaller scale I've just backfilled of all these little random pieces in different sizes so this is just a rough idea obviously you'll have all these gaps filled and mixing the colors together the little flowers, I've actually used white stained glass diamonds. I've just cut in half, in half again. Where did that green one come from? And these are just all I've done for the little daisies. So they're not perfect, they're just a nice little feathery daisy and they're just blowing in the wind on a sunny day. And then cutting a little, I'm going to use blue because it's what I've got handy. Little blue shimmer, just a tiny little centre. And that's just your little daisy. And obviously if you want a half a daisy, get a little shape and kind of just round the sides. So keep a straight bottom. So straight bottom here, and we're gonna just round that side. So we're gonna round the other side. And that now, you can turn your daisy into an upside down daisy. Which can be blowing in the wind. That's it what I've done with these ones here. All right, the sky. Now this is actually a really nice cheating way of doing this one. Um, you can use the same glass sticks, cut them down, I've showed you for the grass, but obviously in longer pieces. But for this one, I've actually just used um, stained glass petals, already pre-cut. Um, and different sizes, I've tucked a little bit of white in there. So this can also work for sky or for doing water. It's just a little cheats way of doing it. Um, same thing, just cut them in half. Smaller ones, put a little bit of cloud in there. And then I've got this gorgeous bit of shimmer that I'm just going to cut some little tiny bits. So and all you're doing with your sky is you're basically just piecing it all back together. And where you might get an awkward gap, you can put like a little bit of this beautiful shimmer in. So this is just a really easy way to do a water or a sky if you're a beginner.
and that is how we've done the sky. So I hope that gives you a few little ideas. Um, we've used little brass cubies to create the swing. Um, these are just petals that we've got here. These are just ceramic petals, so they're already the size that they are. I've just mixed in different sizes. And I've also put in some beautiful blue ones, just for a little bit of a different variation. And these cut very nice as well, so they just go quite nicely into any little gaps that may be needed. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy that. I hope it just gives you a few little ideas if you're just starting out. I mean, you don't have to be a professional to do it. It's a nice, simple, easy project to do. And um, yeah, and as I said with the stained glass, you can sort of um, really get it down to nice fine working pieces. And also look past these just being petals. They're fantastic to create water, sky, um, so many things. So really, really handy. Okay, I'm just doing a dry grout test to see what colour grout I'm going to go with. I'm actually quite liking this blue. I've just sprinkled some on dry um, and I will brush it out. But just to give me an idea, I usually always go for black. But I want to do this one blue. <sighs> I'm thinking this here, a sage green and then a truffle brown. So I'm going to, yeah, we'll do that one blue and then we'll work out the screen. But yeah, looking good. I'm actually in love with this colour. This is called Space Blue by Marco. It's beautiful. So that's going to be our, hopefully, it's going to complement our sky. a little bit of cleaning with your cotton bud <laughs> so just allow a little bit of time to sit there and just fish out any of those little tiles that you might have done the small ones and just to sort of tie it out around the leaves the more you can spend time doing this it just really brings your leaves out Right, we're on the home stretch. We are just finishing off with a brown for the bottom. And then we need to give it a bit of a polish up. Okay, I'm actually just using my finger here because I just want to feather it into the green so it blends in nicely. So just with a cotton bud. Just so it's more natural than having like a straight line of brown. And then I'll leave it for a couple of minutes and then I'll wipe it off and hopefully it'll be nice and blended. We've cleaned up and still more cleaning up. <laughs> but we will, um, it's got it pretty much tidy. I'll just give it a quick buff up a bit later. Now we'll take off our black to reveal our black. being very careful just to clean around in a silhouette shape and just brushing away and grout. 